artist that's week 12. Hopefully you had a positive um, Thanksgiving with the adults and the people in your life. And again, we're finishing up our project this week um, based on the rock art or the petroglyph art of the Chumash Native Americans from Central Coast, California. So our first part, we use symbols, just generic um, Native American symbols. And we had practiced the week before Thanksgiving, we practiced secret codes and messages with our symbols. So we were trying to, we're kind of continuing with that, that uh, message of thanks. So everything we're doing today, kind of think thanks. So I had fish, mini fish, friendship, sun. Uh, this symbol means happy. And then this symbol means camp or home. So that was the first phase, crayon resist. We'll be back in one moment with the second phase. You wanna gather up some scrap paper. Notice how this is just like a little piece of notebook paper. Um, try if you can to find colors that kind of complement your, your first part of your Chumash rock art. It's okay though. You know, you try newspaper, the inside of envelopes, things like that. So I'm kind of noticing this, this green's a little dark, but I think I'll use it later. I think I'm gonna start with this yellow. So today what we're doing is we're making our project into a mixed media project. We're gonna add symbols on scrap paper, and then those symbols are going to be cut out carefully and glued on our design. So there's four different resources of symbols um, in the bottom of the resource section, section three, on both week 11, week 10, and week 12. So here's just a kind of a generic petroglyphs handout, and I think I'm gonna use some of these. And I'm thinking balance. So I really like, I, I have a dog. This reminds me of a dog. So I think I'm gonna do that one first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a black Sharpie. You're welcome to use another color if you think it kind of complements your design so and it's a you know you can practice you could draw it in pencil first it doesn't have to be exact who's gonna know but just kind of think about the shapes that you see like I see almost like a hot dog banana shape here in their body the tail was just a straight like almost broomstick then I see a rectangle here for the neck and the mouth is just kind of a couple more, I don't know, broomsticks. Remember if you use the side of your marker to add the um, color, it can make it uh, cover more quickly as opposed to just kind of like randomly coloring with it. So again, you're good, just gonna use some symbols. You may not know exactly what they mean if you're using the generic petroglyph symbols or the Chumash rock art symbols, but if they mean something to you, that's awesome. And you want to think about balance, ba balance, rhythm, and variety. So we already have variety with our different symbols. Rhythm is just kind of like, does it flow? Does it seem to flow to you? And hopefully you watched that video in section one where they were talking about the three different kinds of balance. If you hadn't watched that, go back because that's a big principle of design and art. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up and we'll be right back. step. So I finished my dog-like creature and see how I just kind of loosely cut it out. I did like a contour cut. So here's another symbol that I really liked from this particular petroglyph handout and it's this spiral with, it almost looks like a crop. As I was drawing it I was thinking that looks kind of like a pumpkin or um, again you can, if it doesn't say what the symbol means then we can attribute whatever meaning we want. So when you do a contour cut you're not cutting, there's no way we could cut this shape out exactly. So we're just cutting around the outside edge and we're leaving a little bit of a border. And that's what you wanna do with all your symbols. You want to see the paper color also, not just the, the symbol. So I chose, like I told you, I chose colors that I thought would kind of complement the paints and the crayon that I used in part one. So here's my contour cut for my sort of pumpkin. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your symbols and you're gonna try to see where they where they seem like they fit. And we don't know exactly like, you know, 
which way they're supposed to go necessarily. I'm noticing I have a lot of line down here. So, and then I noticed I also have green here. So I think I'm gonna put my green up here. This one reminded me um, a little bit of like friendship or maybe marriage or um, a big S. <laughs> And then this one I notice has a spiral and I have some circles here. So I think I'm gonna try to put it up here away from my orange. And it's okay, remember, if your, if your um, symbols go off the page a little bit, that can provide visual interest. So I'm just gonna finish. I would do, you already have like uh, five to seven crayon symbols. So I would do, you know, four, four to six paper symbols, different ones, of course, for variety. Cut them out loosely. Experiment where you think they're gonna look best. Uh, for example, the dog I didn't put on the yellow, I put on the blue. And then we'll be back to talk about the next step. Okay, remember we've talked about balance, rhythm, and variety. So I've placed all of my symbols so far, but I kind of noticed how this side over here seem this side seems a little heavier and this side seems like it maybe needs a little something so i really like this symbol uh, we kind of decided in art zoom that it means like movement um people you know people are uh getting up and exercising and moving around so i'm not sure exactly where i want it yet again it's okay to go off the page i might put it like right in the middle here but I just have to decide if I'm gonna overlap something. Ooh, maybe at an angle. So I know for those who've been in class with me, you know that I really am not a big glue stick fan just because they don't tend to hold as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my dots of glue. Dot, dot, not a lot. Many of you have taught me that. So dots of glue. Generous, but not too generous. And then I'm just kind of thinking about my placement. I put my paw here by the camp because I love animals and I do love camping. That's something I'm grateful for and thankful for. So I'm gonna place all of my paper symbols and then we'll be back with one more detail. Again, we're thinking about balance. We already have variety. And then rhythm is just kind of the flow. Does it seem to flow? Which goes with balance and unity. So I'll be back and I'm really anxious to hear your stories when we present these during Zoom. Now we're ready for our very last portion of our mixed media Chumash rock art or pictograph petroglyph um, Native American artwork with a story. <laughs> so again, you had initially, we did a crayon resist. We had five symbols, you had five to seven. You thought about placing them so that things didn't seem too heavy on one side. Um, you can turn things to an angle. They can go off the edge a little bit. Our second step, we added symbols, cutting them out of scrap paper. And a really great source of scrap paper is your recycling bin. So like here's an envelope. I'm gonna use this just to add a little bit of balance, a little bit of detail. And I think white's good. So I'm gonna cut out a chunk of paper from this recycle envelope and just ask your family if that's okay, of course. And I'm noticing, I'm just gonna kind of trim it up or balance it. So I think over here, it looks like I need a little something. So I'm just gonna cut actually, I'm gonna cut some rectangles and see how that looks. Just some long skinny rectangles. See if those add some kind of some framing to it. So you're gonna finish it up by adding some frame or just some final details to make it seem more balanced. So I kind of changed my mind. I realized I really liked the river line, the symbol of the river on that our original Native American handout. So I'm gonna get rid of just the plain rectangle. And what I did is I cut some, some shapes that were a little bit like the river shape, some flowing water. And I think I'm gonna use these. They don't have to be just by themselves. Oops, they could be um, two in a row. You just kind of decide what you think looks good. If you wanna add a, any final detail. So you might 
So it may be even like that, something like that on the corner. I'm not planning on framing the whole thing. I'm just seeing where I need a little bit of detail. And I'm thinking it looks pretty balanced. So I might put a few more little river lines. Uh, again, I'm really looking forward to hearing your story, your rock art, your petroglyph art. And some symbols like these, when we don't really officially know what they mean, that's okay. You can tell us what you're thankful for and what they mean to you. So have fun artists, be creative, and I can't wait to see these stories. Bye-bye.